In a previous video, we discussed why through-hole components are needed in many printed circuit board assemblies. Today, we'll look at how they are inserted into the boards using two different techniques. The first is manual insertion. For manual insertion, parts are purchased on reels or in bulk packaging. The leads have to be trimmed, and then the parts inserted into the board by hand. The board is then run through the wave solder to make the mechanical and electrical connections. You'll see automated insertion where the volume of PCB assembly is high enough to justify the six-figure investment in equipment. For this high volume process, parts are purchased as tape and reel, or tape and box, also called ammo packs. This automated insertion method automatically trims the leads, checks for the correct part value and polarity, inserts the part, and clinches it into place. The clinch adds mechanical strength and ensures direct contact between the lead and plating on the hole. This yields a more reliable solder joint than manual insertion where parts are loose until soldering. In this through-hole stuff line at Z-axis, we use both automated and manual insertion. Our radial insertion machine can handle parts with two or three leads and standard lead spacings of two and a half, five, and seven and a half millimeters. Other parts will be placed manually, those that are too large for the insertion machine or that aren't available on tape. These are often transformers, larger capacitors, and connectors. Contract manufacturers with automated insertion capabilities can deliver higher throughput, higher quality, and lower labor costs for through-hole and mixed technology PCB assemblies. Visit zaxis.net to learn more about electronic product manufacturing in the USA.